That's a very important topic. That's what's the tips to get the corneal foreign body out. So this patient presented with a one day history of something going in his eye and on slit lamp. You can see this uh, foreign body which is lodged over here. And uh, the important thing which you want to see if it's an iron foreign body or it's um, something which is just a vegetable foreign body. And then the other thing which you want to see is what is the depth of the foreign body? Sometimes it is just over here, sometimes just on the surface. And your technique for removing that foreign body, either you can use a cotton bud applicator and just remove that foreign body. Or the other thing which you, which usually is needed, especially for this case, you need to bring a needle or a, usually use a 1cc needle and then that will come over here and then you go in beneath that foreign body and then just lift it off in that area. Sometimes if you have a foreign body, it's slightly deeply embedded and there is a rust ring around it with, with corneal foreign body because usually you see them in uh, patients with uh, typically who are grinding something and that comes into their eye. And in that case, sometimes if you go to, if you put your first needle over here, then you're going to leave the rust ring behind. So what you want to do is in patients who've got a rust ring, you want to go in and if this is the corneal foreign body and if this is the rust ring around it, so you want that needle to go behind that thing. So you need to make a slight excavation that's going to remove that uh, foreign body. So let's go forward and see how we do Mm, take uh, that foreign body out. The patient obviously complains of a lot of watering, photophobia, and there's something in the eye. And usually something which is not going, uh, the pain not going in the eye after, uh, after something, a trauma is usually a foreign body. And these patients, sometimes they would come, the, immediately after having this thing, they will just complain that there's irritation, but slowly it becomes painful and some of them do develop corneal ulcer around it if they are left untreated. So you need to put a local anesthetic and get that patient right on the slit lamp and his forehead right against the bar because if it moves backward, uh, he's going to lose focus. And there you can see I'm going behind that foreign body and that get a clean uh, removal of that foreign body. And once that is out, the next step is getting that hold of that foreign body. See, I'm not able to get that uh, onto the needle and just try to take it in the peripheral cornea and what I did was took it to the conjunctival sac inferiorly and then removed that foreign body, took it over from, you can either use a Q-tip because you can see the foreign body is floating over at that time and that I safely removed it from that area. Once you've done that, you need to pad the eye and uh, put topical antibiotics because those are the important mainstay to prevent infection and call the patient and next day and uh, to see if there's a resolution of infectivity in that patient. So that is the most important tip is don't leave the rust ring. Sometime if you leave the rust ring, you can call them next day and excavate the rust ring as well. Thank you very much for watching and please visit, uh, share the video with all your colleagues.